tonight, Ukraine's president remains defiant, even as invading Russian forces push deeper into his country. Again today, Volodymyr Zelensky pleaded for more help from the U.S. and international allies, including a no-fly zone over Ukraine. Today near Moscow, Russian President Vladimir Putin warned the West that move would be an act of war. And in Ukraine, the fight is intensifying. This video reportedly showing a Russian cruise missile exploding after being intercepted by Ukrainian air defenses, while this residential building in the city of Irpin was reportedly hit by a Russian missile. There are new images today of the mass exodus, these people huddling for safety among the ruins of a bridge. Roughly 1.4 million Ukrainians, now refugees outside their country, the largest humanitarian crisis in Europe since World War II. Chris Livsay is in the city of Lviv in western Ukraine. He leads us off tonight with the very latest. Russia thought the invasion would be over swiftly. That was before their jets were plummeting from Ukrainian skies to the cheering of locals. This downed pilot was asked his rank and unit details by his captors. In the face of impossible odds, Ukraine's resolve has shocked the world and frustrated the Russians into using banned weapons like cluster bombs, NATO says. Russia claims they're not hitting civilians, releasing videos of missiles launching at precision targets. But on-the-ground evidence tells a different story. This is a nightmare. How is this possible, this woman cries in the northern city of Chernikiv. Just look at this. Even nuclear power plants aren't safe. U.S. officials said the world narrowly avoided a catastrophe during Russia's siege of Europe's biggest nuclear facility. It could have been 10 times worse than the Chernobyl disaster, according to Ukraine. In this video, an operator can be heard demanding the Russians stop attacking. You are endangering the security of the whole world, he repeats. All of it sparking Europe's worst humanitarian crisis this century. More than one million refugees have fled the country, and the UN fears more than four million people, about 10 percent of the Ukrainian population, could be displaced in the coming weeks. Dozens come to this shelter here in the western city of Lviv before leaving the country. That's four-year-old Andre, exhausted after 20 hours of sleepless escape. His father stayed behind in the captured city of Kharkiv. Now he only has his mom and big brother. Every day begins with a text to our relatives. We ask, are you alive? Chris Livsay joins us from Lviv. Chris, more than a million Ukrainians have already fled the country. Can you put that into perspective for us? Well, it is an astounding number, one that's already on par with the people who were displaced from Iraq, Syria, and Afghanistan in 2015. And it's going to get a lot worse, according to the UN. They fear that as many as four million people could be displaced in the coming months. We're only in, uh, we're only a week into this thing so far. And Chris, you know, as Russia appears to be gaining momentum, how are Ukrainians that you're talking to on the ground feeling? They have remarkably high spirits. They think they're going to win this David and Goliath conflict, despite being outsized and outgunned in every way by the Russians. One person I interviewed yesterday said, we have more faith in our military than the Pope has in God. Chris Livesay in Lviv, thank you.